Mm. So why are you seeking the Holy Ghost? And for whom are you seeking it for? Amen. Is it for yourself? Mm. Or is it to keep some girl? Amen. Or to keep some brother? And if you're doing it to try to keep them, you are never receiving. That's right. It's a wrong purpose. Wrong purpose. Wrong heart. Yeah. And you're not on one accord with God. That's right. That's right. You ain't hungry for the Holy Ghost. I'm hungry. You're hungry for him. Amen. Or you're hungry for her. Yeah. And when you find yourself more hungry for him, and her, then God, he became your God, became. and she became your goddess. That's right. Until if she leave and tip out of the church, you down there, Lord, you, Lord, you, Lord, you. That's right. Where, where, where you going? Where, where, where you going? Why, why, where, where you going? Where? Who cares where she going? Go ahead. Why are you running after her? Amen. You're supposed to be running after God. That's right. That's right. That's right. So who are you seeking God for? For. Why are you seeking him? See, if a girl is involved or a brother is involved, and that's your motivation, you will never, 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 ever, ever, never, ever Amen. receive the Holy Ghost. Never. It's an insult to want anything. More than God. That's right. It's an insult. That's an insult. To want a man or a woman or a job more than God or equal to God. Amen. The Lord said, Who is my is equal? Saith the Holy One. That's right. Who competes with him? Mm. Who can match steps with him? Amen. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. So who are you seeking God for? Yeah. You want the Holy Ghost? Why? Why? It's a gift. That's right. No one is deserving of it. No. It is a gift. It's a gift. But why you want it? That's right. Teach it, teach it, teach it. It is a gift. Oh, yeah. But why do you want it? Amen. Well, I needed to get into the kingdom. Yeah, that's true. But why do you want it? Yeah. Mm. Because you know you needed to get in the kingdom. That doesn't mean you're seeking it for that purpose. Right. If I'm working on an auxiliary in the church and my involvement in that auxiliary is so great until it's causing me to get more distracted then I need to back out the auxiliary. Amen. If I'm working on an auxiliary and I don't have the Holy Ghost and it's distracting me, I'm getting off. That's right. And going to the drawing board. Yes. Are you listening? Amen. Mm. Get to yourself. Oh, yes. And buckle down and seek God. Seek God. For the Holy Ghost. You young people in your teens and in your 20s, you get baptized, but you don't seek the Holy Ghost. And then some of you get attracted to a boy, and then, hold it, how is it that a boy can make you fast? Wow. Wow. Never hardly fast in your life, boy pop up. Will you fast with me? And you never even fast for yourself. <laughs> That's right. Girl pop up. Will you fast with me? Oh, yeah. He had missed his gut for two days and won't even feel it. But never has fast for himself. Amen. Now, honesty. Brother, if you even see that, that sister wanting you more than God? Yeah. Cut that relationship off. And she's not your wife? Right. Cut it off. Yeah. Because you should care about a person enough that you don't cause them to go to hell. 
and you don't willingly stand in their way right. from receiving the Holy Ghost. That's right. I was in my wife's way. Yeah. We were in our early teens, but I was in her way, and I had sense enough to know it. I got out the way. Amen. Why? She needed God way more than she needed me. Yeah. If she never married me, all right, as long as she was filled with God. That's right. She, if she filled with God and never have me, she will have the best thing. That's right. Wonderful. Oh, yeah, she will have the best thing. Wonderful. Mm. Are you listening? Amen. On the day of Pentecost, mm. there was with one accord. One accord. One place. One place. Now, the one accord is the focused yeah. mind and the focused heart. <clears throat> when the Apostle Peter preached to the Gentiles, mm -hmm. it is written, while Peter yet spake the word. the word. I experienced that also. Yeah. The Holy Ghost fell on all them that heard the word. I experienced people receiving the Holy Ghost while we were preaching. Wow, that's right. While the word of God is preaching, spirit fall. Oh, yeah. But you got to be in tune to that word. Oh, yeah. Are you listening? In tune. To you that claim you have it, yeah. how do you know? Mm -hmm. How do you know? That's right. Pastor Jennings, you know my attitude changed. That starts to change before you receive the Holy Ghost. That's right. That starts to change through teaching. Amen. Because teaching reforms the mind. Yeah. And when the mind starts to change, the heart starts to change, the body starts to change, characteristics start to change. Oh, yeah. And you start to be transformed, taking on the characteristics of God before the Spirit of God oh, even come in you. That's true. Are you listening? That's true. Glory to God. So you that say you have the Holy Ghost, how do you know? How do you know it? Do you know that's God speaking out of you? That's right. Because you got to know it for yourself. You got to know it. That's right. If the Holy Ghost is in me for real, mm -hmm. But yet it only deal with me when certain brothers speak. Go ahead. Am I right? That's right. That's right. It only deal with me when Todd speak. If it ain't Todd around, I don't feel nothing. Amen. Amen. I only deal with me when Harris speak. Yeah. If I don't see Harris, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I, I don't feel no life. You need the Holy Ghost. That's right. You don't have it. That's right. Amen. You don't have it? You don't have it. Mm -mm. No, no, you don't have it. No. You don't have it according to the words of God. No, no. Yes, mm -mm. sir. The movement of the Holy Ghost. Because someone have the Holy Ghost, that don't mean that God will speak in tongue in them as much as another person. That's true. In other words, you can't tell me how long I'm going to speak. That's right. Oh, when I receive the Holy Ghost, I spoke all night. Okay, that's God business. That's right. That's God business. God's business. God may speak through me for 15 minutes so I can sleep the rest of the night. But your Holy Ghost ain't better, better than mine. That's right. It ain't more important than mine. It's the same spirit. Hello, Lord. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, movement of the Holy Ghost. The movement of the Holy Ghost is not just the quickening of a body. Some folks say, "Ooh, all that great spirit, how could you not feel the spirit and it was so high? Who said they didn't? Go ahead. What is your measuring stick of feeling the spirit? That's right. Only when someone speak mm -hmm. or when someone shake, right. God can move on the heart. 
That's right. Without the body pivoting in any direction. That's right. Hell, That's right. God, I say. Amen. Can move on the heart. Amen. The heart can quicken without the body moving. That's right. The Bible said while Peter spoke the word, they were pricked. Pricked in the heart. Pricked. Pricked. Right. Pricked. Right. In the heart. In the heart. In the heart. He was preaching. That's right. The heart was pricked. That's it. God quickened that heart. That's right. God was dealing with the heart. That's right. Don't you hear him say, did not our heart burn? burn. burn. Don't take us. Yes, us. Wow, he had spake with us. That's right. That's right. God dealing with the heart. With the heart. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. To you that been tarrying long, waiting long. No minister from nowhere, mm -hmm. no brother or sister mm -hmm. have the right to tell you, oh, you've been tarrying 10 years. You ain't been doing nothing. You should have been had it. Who are you to tell me? That's right. There ain't no preacher got that kind of authority. That's right. If the Holy Ghost is a gift, Amen. I can't make myself speak. No. I have to wait. Amen. Wait. Until God give it. That's right. While I'm waiting. While you're waiting. I have to keep talking to him. That's right. Just hallelujah. Just keep talking to him. That's right. While I'm waiting. While you're just waiting. keep talking to him. That's right. If I wait 20 years. Amen. I got to keep talking to him. You don't have the right to tell me I should have been had it. That's right. Because it took you five years. That's you. That's you. You can't speak for God. No, no. You waited five years. Holy Ghost giving is God's business. That's right. It's God's business. God, that's right. The Spirit is not given by measure. By measure. So He give it to whomsoever He will, where He will, yeah. when, he will when He will, how He will. That's right. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. That's right. Are you listening? Now, while you're waiting, you're going to get weary. <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, yes. Holy Ghost, talk about that. Amen. You'll get weary. You'll get weary. While you're waiting. Oh, yeah. And it is written, they that wait upon the Lord mm -hmm. shall renew their strength. He shall look at him, look at him, just stepping in, letting you know he's there all the time. But they that wait. Do you hear? In Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. They that wait. Upon the Lord. Not upon your girlfriend. No. Not upon your boyfriend. No, no. Amen. I don't want no Holy Ghost that only deal with me when I see him. <laughs> That's right. Suppose he died. That's right. I'm in trouble. If he die, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm out of the loop. <laughs> That's right. They that wait upon the Lord. Are you waiting for him? Amen. How? How? You're waiting for him? How? While you're waiting on God, you must, if you notice in the first chapter of Acts before they received the Holy Ghost, it says these all continue, all continue in supplication and in prayer, prayer with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. When you wait on the Lord, you don't, it isn't that you're waiting doing nothing. Right. right. It's like a person, Lord, bless me to get a job, but you ain't never looking. Amen. Well, I ain't got to look. Uh, he said, seek. Seek. You know, and you, you're fine. You're fine. Not just acts. Mm -hmm. You got to do some looking. That's you got right. some work to do too. That's right. That's right. All right, listen. But they that wait upon the Lord. But they that wait upon the Lord. Shall renew their strength. Now, strength don't need renewed if it's already at this full height. That's right. The renewing of strength because one is weary. Yeah. And they need some help. They need a boost. Boost. 
in the midst of your waiting to be filled with the Holy Ghost, don't become over anxious that then you claim something you don't have. Amen. See, a lot of folk don't have the Holy Ghost, but yet they got a lot of movement. That's true. A lot of shaking. That's right. But never speak in tongue. Never, never speak. Just shake. That's right. You can move all you want. Yeah. The dry bones moved in the days of Ezekiel. Amen. But it took the word to make them move. That's right. That's why he said prophesy to them. Prophesy. Speak to them. Yeah. What do you mean? It takes the message to bring you together oh, and stand you up on your feet and dress you up. That's right. Are you Amen. listening? Amen. They that do what? They that wait upon the Lord. What God will do. Shall renew their strength. Glory to God. Amen. God will renew your strength until you feel like what? They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Oh, here, yeah, elevate you. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Mount up with wings as what? As eagles. When the eagle begin to soar, he's flying over his problems. Wonderful. And he's flying over his distractions. That's right. So when you're waiting on the Lord, God will bless you to mount up. That None thing of. that used to distract you, you waiting on God here, elevate you. Elevate you. Just like one get wings of the eagle, that means he arise you above Wonderful. the situation. Amen. Yeah? Amen. What else? They shall run. What? They shall run. Amen. First they was tired. Yeah. Now they Hallelujah. feel like keep going. That's right. Hmm? Amen. Got this courage? Amen. They're coming back again. Coming back. See, the devil wants to defeat you. And the first thing that he defeat, if when he's successful, is your desire. Yeah. When a person desire leaves, they don't feel like doing nothing no more. That's right. When your desire leaves, and you don't seek the Holy Ghost. You see, many of us were seeking the Holy Ghost good mm -hmm. until we met him and her yeah. and it and them. Amen. We hung around a crowd that distract us. Yeah. Got hooked up around the wrong people. It distract us. Oh yeah. College education is good, and I encourage all of our young people to pursue it and get the highest degree in a profession that God is not against. Yeah. But don't lose focus on God. God is first. That's right. Try turning your TVs off. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Here we got churches around the world. I don't walk around the house with my cell phone on. Ain't no need for me to. For what? Yeah. Some of you young people spend more time at a cell phone, get a text and retrieve one more than all the time you spit on your knees. Amen. Never pick up the Bible. You don't even know what Genesis 1 and 1 say. <laughs> Some of you can't even find Acts 2.38. That's bad. That's bad. Can't even find the book of Psalms. Amen. They think Psalms is a hymn. <laughs> Your interest is in the wrong thing. Amen. In the midst of your fast, mm. you argue, yeah. you fuss, Fussing. you fight, yeah. you debate, right? but yet you're supposed to be seeking the Lord. That's right. What Where, kind of fast is this? Wherefore have we fasted, say they? Listen at the prophet. In Isaiah chapter 58 and at verse 3. Wherefore have we fasted, say they? Wherefore mm. have we fasted, say they? And thou seest not. And then you don't see. Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Brothers and sisters, are you too busy to seek the Lord? Are you too busy? Mm. How do we get so busy in this life? That what we're doing is more important than seeking God. Do you not see the chaos of the world? Amen. 
Is not the Lord closer today closer. than he was yesterday? Oh, yeah. But how much more closer are you to God? That's right. Are you listening? Amen. How much more closer are you? Listen at what the book said. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Now, ask yourself, why you don't see no results in your fast? Amen. What is your reason for fasting? Mm. And how are you going about pursuing what you want? Right. What is your reason for your fast? And how are you going about the fast? Why would you fast with anybody? And you don't even hardly fast for yourself. If I'm going to ask somebody to fast with me, you got to be prayerful. That's right. I don't want you just not eating. You ain't fasting with me. You just not eating. And you ain't praying. Fast and prayer go together like faith and works. That's right. You going to fast with me, but you ain't doing no praying. There ain't no fast. No, no. You just missing a meal. That's all. When you fast, go ahead. you're prayerful. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. Are you going to believe God for something and no works? Faith without works is what? Yeah. There's a way to fast. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Are Amen. you listening? Amen. Listen. Wherefore have we fasted, say they? How did we fast, say they? And thou seest not. And you don't see nothing. nothing. Have you ever fasted a long time and you ain't seen no results? No results. Have you ever asked why? Amen. The question is right here in the book. He asked the question. Wherefore have we fasted, Wherefore say they? Wherefore have you fasted, say they? And thou seest and not. you don't see nothing. Ask yourself, how are you fasting? How, how are, you are you doing it? Stop looking at fasting as just not eating and that's it. You got to watch what you say, where you go, what you're doing, why you're doing it. Your whole actions will justify your fast or contaminate your fast. Your actions that make your fast worthwhile or your actions that make your fast worth nothing. My Lord. You can't fast and fornicate. No, you can't. Talk to me. Yeah. You gonna fast Friday and tongue her down Saturday. Talk to me. Yeah. There ain't no fast. How you gonna fast and you on a cell phone all day, all night? That's no fast. You fast and you ain't got to call her to find out. How are you Don't making you on your you fast? Don't you worry about that. You focus on yourself. That's what the Holy Ghost brought to you tonight. The Lord is coming That's and funny. we are not ready. We're not ready. Brother. Not even fasting right. Many of us saying we want the Holy Ghost, but we don't feel a longing for it. When you want the Holy Ghost, you feel a longing. I mean, when you really want it, you're starving. Go ahead. You don't have the Holy Ghost. Why you ain't dissatisfied? Why you're not dissatisfied? Why you don't feel no dissatisfaction? You don't have the Holy Ghost. Why you feel so comfortable at ease? Why you don't feel no dissatisfaction? Why it don't bother you? Well, it bother me. How bad? Real bad. Bad enough to do what about it? Every time you got an answer, I'm coming back with a question. <laughs> That's right. Bad enough to do what? What are you willing to give up to receive it? Who are you willing to give up to receive it? What are you willing to give up to receive it? Because heaven and earth is going to pass away. But the Holy Ghost, it shall not pass. That's right. Holy Ghost is God. Man, you can't be turned for the Holy Ghost and knocking her up. Then testify, pray for me, I receive the Holy Ghost. Liar! Go ahead. You don't even want it. You chase down her legs more than you pursue the Holy Ghost. You the liar! The Lord says, he that hunger and thirst after righteousness. If your appetite is more for him or her than God, it's easy to tell. Look who you pursue more. Look who take up your time more. Is it God? Is it church? There ain't nobody coming back for us but the Lord. No man, no woman, no money, no job, nothing is coming back for you but God. One day, the death angel gonna visit you as an individual. That's right. And whatever state of mind you're in, He's going to catch you there. Whatever state of mind your heart is in, he's going to catch you there. You want the Holy Ghost? Leave him alone. You want the Holy Ghost? Leave her alone. The Bible said, let them alone. Let them alone. When he, when he leaves church, you leave church. When she come to church, you come to church. You're so messed up, so jacked up. He and she is on your mind more than the Holy Ghost. Who is your God? 
I love my wife, but for God, I give her up quicker than I can spit. Go ahead. Not even a second thought. God wants to tell me, shoot, he ain't got to finish his statement because I've been made my choice. <laughs> I made my choice before I met her. Marriage should not challenge your walk with God. You walking with God now, sincere, focused, and you got a wife and now all of a sudden you ain't focused? You got a husband and now you ain't focused because you're so wrapped up into him or her. You're scared to lose them, but yet you see yourself losing God and you don't tremble. You see yourself getting weaker and weaker. Don't even feel the spirit like you used to. Holy Ghost don't speak in tongues through you like you used to. And you just as comfortable and walk around, la, 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 la. It don't phase you at all. Amen. But let that woman threaten to, threaten to leave you. You gonna do what? You, you gonna do what? Oh, 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 wait, wait a minute. But yet, the Holy Ghost is leaving you. You don't ask God, where are you going? Where are you going? That's right. That's I right. can feel you. Amen. Amen. You haven't spoke through me in five years. Amen. Where are you? You don't, hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, hallelujah. Amen. You don't say nothing. Hallelujah. You have gotten comfortable. Amen. Woe unto them ease. that's ease in Zion. You have been professing the Holy Ghost five, 10, 15 years Amen. when the last time you spoke. Some of us was taught by these fake apostolic hypocrites that all you got to do is speak once. Ain't never got to speak again. That's a lie. That's a lie. Jesus said, these, these times shall follow. Shall them. follow. That believe. Follow. Follow. Them that believe. They shall speak. I'm a believer. Right. I got to speak sometimes. That's right. I'm a believer. That's right. I got to talk sometimes. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. That's right. I'm a believer. Amen. Amen. And if I'm a believer, God That's right. is going to talk through me. Yes, he will. God yes, he will. is going to deal with me. Right. God is going to speak through me. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Take off. Amen. He got to do it. Got to do it. These Time shall follow, shall follow, 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 that's right, follow, 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 five, ten, fifteen years, and you don't feel nothing, nothing, haven't felt this since 1945, amen, haven't felt this since the Korean War, my Lord, haven't felt it since your bishop died, amen, if I die, and you that claim you got the Holy Ghost, yeah, this Holy Ghost ain't dealing with you no more, no more, it's because you ain't never had it. If I die, Go ahead. God Go ahead. still lives. Go ahead. Glory to God. That's right. God still lives. If I lay my bed in hell, Go ahead. God, hallelujah, Go God is there. If I die. God still moves. God still moves. God still works. That's right. God still speaks. That's right. Holy Ghost is still given. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This Holy Ghost you feel. Wonderful teaching, brother. Just when you see me. Wonderful teaching. If there's anybody like that. Amen. You ain't got it from heaven. No, no. Some of you, your bishop, your former bishop died. Amen. And you ain't felt God since. I would say the comforter, comforter, will come. Go ahead. The comforter is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. If I die, there ain't a justifiable reason for one of you to backslide. That's right. Not a reason. That's right. Doesn't matter how much pain you feel, how hurt you are. If you want God to raise up another, you gotta seek Him. Because if you die. I ain't backslide. I can't afford to, nor can you. Your priorities is messed up. How you listen to the old man? Good teaching, brother. How are you seeking the Lord? And who are you seeking him for? What are you seeking God to get? Who do you want? Pastor Dennis, the Bible said, better marry than burn, man. I'm tired of burning, bruh. Bruh, tired of burning, bruh. <laughs> bruh. Tired of burning, bruh. I understand that. It's still written. Seek ye first kingdom of God and his righteousness. Bruh, seek God first. 
God can contain that fire. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. What do you want from God? How are you seeking him? How bad do you want him? Who do you want more? God or that brother? God or that woman? God or that money? God or that fame? Mm. God or that recognition? God or that wealthy contract? Who do you want more? You have to get to a point in God that there is no competition in your life. Nothing can compete. Nobody can compete. Think of it being so sound, being so firm, being so solid, being so strong that nobody can compete. Go ahead. Doesn't matter how much money he got, what car and car he drives. He cannot even entice you away from God. That's right. He can't pull you out the church. Can't pull you out. She can't switch you out the church. Get to a point in God where you can say, you will never backslide. Never back. You will never leave him. Never. Think of it. You get to a point in God where you're sound, you're strong, you're firm enough and solid enough and have enough divine experience where you can say, I will never leave him. Never I will never backslide. Even if I get weak, Amen. I will never backslide. I'd rather get weak than leave God. Leave God. Because if I'm weak, he said, let me say I'm strong. That's right. But if I leave him, he called me a dog. Dog. That goes to the vomit. That's right.